Welcome to video number 52, everybody. And I know, I'm a slacker and I haven't been around in a while, but we've been super busy and we've been so, honey, can I tell them how busy we've been? No, are? please no. do not. <laughs> we've been so busy. Today is February 4th, right? Sunday, February 4th. Our Christmas tree is still up. We wake up every day hoping that the Christmas tree fairy will somehow just come in miraculously, take it away. It has not <laughs> happened yet. So our Christmas tree is still up. Um, hopefully you're watching this video on Friday, February 11th, right in time for Super Bowl. I'm a Giants fan, but who are we rooting for in this house, honey? Oh, well, Taylor Swift. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're all about the Kansas City, Kansas City Swifts is who we're rooting for. Um, anyway, uh, welcome to video number 52. Um, if you're not looking to spend money today, I would suggest shutting this video off right now because I'm gonna show you guys four green tree pythons uh, produced by my friend Joe Westgate that are currently available. I have not advertised them anywhere else. I'm making them exclusive to this video because, well, I'll get into it more later, but every time I show you guys animals that I have available, they're typically sold by the time the video comes out. So I specifically waited to show off these animals until this video release. So I'm gonna be showing you four available green tree pythons at a very reasonable price that are gonna blow you away, I promise you. Um, I also am gonna cover in this video three questions you never want to ask when you're purchasing baby green tree pythons. And I know, look, there's a lot of you know newer folks getting into the hobby all the time, but I know when I have babies posted, if I get one of these three questions, it just kind of sets off a red flag to me that I know it's somebody who's really new and there's nothing wrong with being new. We were all really new, but it's just the idea that uh, I know that person is going to, uh, it's, they didn't do basic homework and that's what it's all about. I think when you're buying an animal, you have to use your basic homework. So we're gonna get into those two things later. Also, I want to get you guys quickly caught up in my breeding, what's going on for my breeding this year. I'll do that right now, in fact. Um, I'm really focused on three projects this year. I didn't even breed my Savu pythons this year. I am so overwhelmed, guys, at this point. I have, as of this video, I now have 46 snakes that I'm waiting to ship, 46 babies, baby green tree pythons, baby emerald tree boas, all have deposits or pay for. So for everybody out there waiting, baby Savu pythons, adult Savu pythons, Everybody waiting for their animals, thank you for your patience, but I am just at the uh, mercy of the weather. Um, so like I said, I've just been really overwhelmed, so I didn't even produce any Savu pythons this year. I'm not even doing any carpets this year. I'm really focusing on three species. Uh, the first species I'm focusing on are Northern Emerald Tree Boas. So far, guys, I've not had any luck. That's one of my big females. She's a 2018 girl. I have 1.2. Uh, the male I brought in on a breeding loan. So far, he's not doing much for me. They want to come over here and show off the male. That's the male up there. And that's another one of the females over here. I want to shoot her over here, honey. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Gary, maybe you'd have more breeding success with them if you had them all in the same enclosure. I know, I've been separating them. I'm introducing and separating them. And that's all I'm going to be doing for a while. Um, so that's the first project. So far, no luck on those. Diamond pythons, this big, beautiful girl in here. She's in the back. I don't know if you want to come in, babe, show her off. I only have one female diamond ready to go this year. I cannot get that girl to start producing follicles. I've tried everything with her, but again, I am not giving up on them. I just keep separating, feeding, reintroducing, so I am not giving up. I'm not saying it's not going to happen this year, but so far, I'm not seeing any green luck. And Sanzini are my last, the green Sanzini. So this girl, she's... Got some good weight on her. She's doing really well. She is non-stop breeding some Eastern Sanzinia, green face uh, Sanzinia that were better known as the Easterns. She's been breeding up a storm so far, nothing. I am not giving up on her. I have her with, and by the way, the Sanzinia, both pairs I have going are both unrelated pairs. So far, no luck on this female, but again, I'm not giving up, but hold on one second. I want to show you a female that I'm pretty sure is gravid right now. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna disturb her just for you guys. Come here, baby. Hold on, okay. So she's much darker right now than she normally is. She's super heavy in the middle. I think she ovulated about two or three weeks ago. I'm pretty sure I saw an ovulation. I hate to say it out loud. I don't wanna jinx myself. She's on the heat. She refused. She's a savage feeder. She just refused. As you can see her all on here, look at that side profile. She's pretty heavy in the middle there. So uh, with any luck, we'll see guys. I hate to even say it out loud, but I like to think I'm gonna get something, whether it's babies or slugs, I'm gonna get something, but she looks great. I'm super happy with her and again, locked up with a male that's completely unrelated to her. So that's, going, that's what's going on with my breeding projects. And I think we're gonna jump into next are those three questions you never wanna ask when you're shopping for baby green tree pythons. <laughs> All 
Okay, guys, what I want to get into are three questions you should never ask when you're buying a baby green tree python. Now, look, like I said earlier, we were all new at one time. We always don't know the answers to everything, especially when we're just getting into this hobby and we're learning to work with baby green tree pythons or baby emerald tree boas. But there are three questions that as soon as I hear one of them, it just tells me that somebody did not do their homework. You know, a perfect example is I recently got into discus fish. I had aquarium fish my whole life. I got into discus for a couple of things. I did a lot of research. There's a lot of basics involved. One of them is they need water, warmer water temperatures with discus. Another thing about discus is as far as like tank mates, which tank mates you should choose. You can't mix them with just any fish, right? So those are pretty basics. You know, if I had went on a board or if I called a discus breeder and said, hey, look, I want to put them with my Oscars. He would have automatically known, not only was I new, but that I didn't do any homework. And there's a good chance he may not have wanted to sell any discus to me. And that's basically how I feel about baby green tree pythons. So, again, here are three questions. If you're, especially if you're just getting into green tree pythons, baby green tree pythons, you want one, you should never ask uh, when you're going to buy one, right? So the first question is, what is the temperament? As soon as somebody says to me, what is the temperament of that baby green tree python? It just, they just lose me because that automatically tells me that person is going to want to handle that baby. And as we know, baby, baby green tree pythons, they are very delicate. They hatch out at about 15 grams. This one is so pretty. Almost has no pattern. This is going to my friend Chad. And Chad, as soon as we can ship, I'll get this one to you. But you can see how small it is. It has a prehensile tail, which is very delicate, very delicate vertebrae in the tail. So the last thing you ever want to do is handle a baby green tree python. So again, question number one, when somebody asks me, what is a temperament? It's automatically a red flag. And I just, I am going to do everything in my power probably not to sell that person a baby green tree python. Uh, question number two, how long is it? When people ask me how long it is, I always wonder why they want to know that. I mean, I don't know. It's the average length of a baby green tree python. A question you might want to ask is how many grams the animal is. That will tell you more about the size of the animal and maybe what it's feeding on. You know, an animal that's – newborns, like I said, are about 15, 20 grams. Once they hit probably, I don't know exactly, say – 40, 50 grams in that area, they're probably going to small fuzzy mice, fuzzy mice. But again, if you're getting into green tree pythons and you ask the question to a, you know, somebody selling an animal, this, actually this is a, uh, this one's going to my friend Lynn. It's another pretty, I forget which one this is. This is a uh, Cyclops cross Aru little baby. And this one's pretty well started. So again, instead of asking the question, how long is it? You ask the question maybe if you want to know if you're that, you know, curious about the size, you can ask how many grams the animal is. So I hope that helps. Question number three you never want to ask when you're buying a baby green tree python is ask for a certain sex. I recently had somebody say to me, okay, you have babies available. I'm looking for 1.1. Um, you cannot sex a baby green tree python, right, for the reasons I mentioned earlier. They're just simply too small. You can never probe. First off, you can never probe them accurately at that size. And secondly, you could you have the potential to do some damage of damaging the vertebrae if they're that small. So you cannot really accurately probe a green tree python, I would say minimally till they're about eight to 10 months old. I like to wait until they're at least a year old. Typically, I like to wait until they're almost on three quarter grown mice. That's what I'll wait for. At that size, once they're taking three quarter grown mice, I know that the vertebrae, the tail area is strong enough to probe. And not only that, I could probe it accurately. So again, the other question, again, you don't want to ask is, you know, as babies, can you please pick me out a male or pick me out a female or pick me out a pair? They're just too small to sex. Just on a side note, this is a pure captive hatched uh, Manaquari green tree python. Captive hatched meaning it was, it was a captive hatched in Indonesia. Um, I did post some of these. I posted three of them in the last like 24 hours. Two of them sold right away. As of right now, this animal is available. I can't guarantee that's going to be the case by the time this video comes out, but it's currently on Morph Market. And it is Manoc 23-03. And again, at this size, I can't sex it. So uh, if you're looking for a pure captive hatch, Manoquari, these things turn out phenomenal. I've held so many back over the years. This will just be a beautiful green animal with bright blue highlights and, oh, a little snappy. It actually looks like it's going into a shed. But anyway, those are the three questions, guys. Do with them what you want, but I'm just trying to give you advice when you're stop shopping for baby green tree pythons. You might want to uh, stay away from any of those three questions.
Hey guys, um, I want to show you some animals right now. These are four green tree pythons. They hatched on May 3rd of 2023. And the thing about these green tree pythons is I've never advertised them anywhere before. They're not on Morph Market, they're anywhere. The first time I'm ever shown to anybody is you guys right now. Um, I feel like whenever I do a video, whether I'm showing you guys green tree pythons or emerald tree boas, Bowens pythons, Amazon Basin emeralds, I'm always showing them off to you guys and I'm always saying in each video, but they're already sold and I'm sorry. Um, I'm super fortunate and I am very thankful you guys buy my animals very quickly. So thank you so much for that. So what I wanted to do really in this video is just make this exclude these animals exclusive to this video. So that's really what I'm going to do. It's a first come first serve. I'm going to tell you guys all about them. Um, and they are available as of this very moment. And hopefully when this video goes, uh, gets published on Friday, um, you guys will have first shot at them. And that's really the goal of this video. So first off, these animals are of course, captive bred and born by my friend, Joe Westgate. Joe is on, um, Facebook. I'm going to put his Instagram information on here as well. Joe is just a great guy. He's a low key green tree Python breeder. You know, I'm, not a lot of people know Joe yet at this time. I'm hoping to help change that with him. Um, he just produces some amazing stuff. But, um, you know, he doesn't ship a lot. A lot of people don't know his name, so he reached out to me, asked if I'd be interested in maybe, you know, selling these animals for him. Um, Joe actually just has a beautiful um, clutch of Cyclops animals on the ground that just, just in the last few days. And he also did a repeat pairing, and I'm going to tell you all about this pairing uh, shortly. But please follow Joe on Instagram. I'm going to put his information up. Joe lives in Massachusetts. And again, just super sweet guy, great guy, trustworthy, must have called me. 10 times. I got these animals actually back in December. I just always like to hold on to everything for a long time before I offer it to you guys. Um, and just checking up all the time. They're eating well, they're doing well. So just really conscientious breeder and just a really good guy. So again, uh, if you're not following Joe, please go ahead and do that on Instagram right now. So let me tell you about these babies. Maybe you can come in and we'll show you a close up on them. And again, as of right now, they're all available. This one right here is JRW-2301. And again, I'll put a picture up of that animal as well. Um, and these animals are, this is all, here's the cool thing about them. The dam is by the mayor himself, Bill Stegel, right? So the dam of these animals is BIL 18-01. And what's really cool about that, we'll go over to this one now, babe. This is JRW 23-04, all eating frozen thawed fuzzy mice. I mean like savage killer feeders, I promise you guys that. So the dam to uh, this, these uh, animals is a full sibling to the sickness, and I'll put a picture up of Bill's sickness animal. So the bloodline on these is pretty incredible. Um, great, just great genetics. The sire of these babies is, was produced by TK Chondro. So I don't know TK Chondro's. I've heard the name. I'm not really sure who that belongs to. I hope, I'm sure it's a reputable person. I'm sure that Joe would only deal with somebody reputable, but the sire is TK Chondro's. The dam again is from the mayor himself. It's um, related to the sickness animal. And uh, there were five reds, three yellows in the, in the entire clutch. And I'm going to shoot this yellow one over here, babe. This one is JRW23-07. And this last one, I think, is my most favorite. That animal is just killer to me. That is JRW23-05. And um, so what am I going to tell you guys? The pricing on these, I really try to price them just really, I don't know, be super fair on them. Um, the red babies are going to be $28.50 each, $2,850 each. That includes shipping. And the yellow baby is going to be $1,550, $1,550. And I know the market pretty well, guys. I'm on, you know, Morph Market all the time and see what animals go for. And I think with these red babies especially, I... I think people would sell them probably like for 3,500 to four grand. So I'm trying to do this specifically for the people watching my video, my viewers. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing, which by the way, if you haven't done that, subscribe. I would love to hit 10,000 uh, subscribers while I'm still alive to actually see them. I'm not getting any younger guys. So I'd love to see 10,000 subscribers uh, while I'm still, uh, you know, breathing. Um, so again, Joe Westgate produced these animals. They are savage feeders. As of this moment, guys, they are all available. Oh, here's the last thing. I'm only going to make sure only one, you can only buy one. I want to just try to get as many people to buy them as possible. I'm not trying to let anybody grab somebody, take them all from me. I'm not going to do that. So you're only allowed to get one of them. That's not me being jerky. guys. me just trying to be really fair and try to just say thank you so much for watching my videos and making this an exclusive. So anyway, I hope that you guys are able to get one of these animals because they are, they are going to be gorgeous.
Guys, thank you so much as always for watching my videos and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I wanted to show you before I signed off here. This is a little Amazon Basin Emerald Tree Boa. I've had this animal now for about 10 months. It was one of 20 animals that I had acquired, right? There were 13 in one litter and there were seven in the other litter. And the thing about this little baby is that it was, the, it was a great feeder from the time I got it, but it would only take live, right? It would not take frozen thought for me. And I, I'm just... Why I will sell some animals that are only taking live. Of course, I always mention that, right, to the, to the buyer, this animal's only taking live. I'm really not comfortable selling arboreals unless I know they're slamming frozen thawed. So I'm not going to say this one is slamming frozen thawed yet, but I will tell you, for the very first time a few days ago, it took its very first frozen thawed meal after just trying continuously for the last 10 months. So the message here is, that's by the way, he looks wet because he, was, it was, he or she is, it was misted this morning. Uh, that's why it's still uh, a little wet. But that's why you never give up. You never know, especially when you're trying to feed baby chondros after they first hatch. Just when you least expect it, they will eat for you. And that's exactly what this one did. And I was so excited to see that. I felt like I won. I beat you, you little son of a you-know-what. But um, anyway, this one is already going off to its new home. So thank you again so much for watching, guys. You know, the old US Ark, please don't ever forget to support US Ark. In fact, I got an email from them today. I'm a gold member that my membership has expired. So I'm going to go ahead and renew that. Uh, for 2024 and uh, root for the Kansas City Swifts and I think that's all I have for you guys and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Who has the best YouTube channel? Me?